Chris, thanks for taking a minute. How are your cases going? Pretty well, thanks. I closed three files last week, and I have another five at various stages of settlement. That's great. I think you've handled eviction defenses before, but this new case I may want to assign to you involves a Section 8 tenant. Have you handled one like that before? No, but I heard others here say they are challenging. The initial part of this case involves background research, then preparation of a draft answer and defense, plus counterclaims for my review. I need this all back within 10 days, and I estimate it will take you 12 to 15 hours. Can you fit that into your workload? Yeah, I think so, as long as I have access to you for questions. I'll be around the whole time, and I plan to build in a couple of check-ins as you progress. It'd be terrific if we could add to the office expertise on these cases, since only two other attorneys have done the Section 8 cases. Shall I explain the case? Sure, go ahead. So the big picture here is the interaction of eviction law and the rights and responsibilities of Section 8 tenants. Our client, Jim Henry, lives in a Section 8 high-rise apartment. He has an intellectual disability which makes it difficult for him to manage his finances and keep his apartment clean. The Section 8 is project-based, that is, it is linked to the apartment, so if he is evicted, he will lose his Section 8 subsidy. The landlord is accusing him of violating his Section 8 obligations by repeatedly not paying his rent on time and not keeping his apartment and surrounding common areas clean. Jim denies the allegations and suggests that the landlord is just out to get him. Any questions so far? You said that the client might lose Section 8 status because of the late rent and house cleaning issues. Is there any other basis for him to lose his rights? Good question. Our initial interview notes from Jan are pretty good. However, I want you to go over the lease and the Section 8 regulations, meet the client to make sure nothing else is being alleged, and review any defenses. Got it. So what we need in terms of work product are a bullet point memo for me and the file on this topic. Does Jim have a reasonable accommodation argument under the Federal Fair Housing Amendment Act if the landlord's allegations are proved? Your assessment of our chances of defending against the eviction action. Not a memo, just a few lines. A draft answer and defense and counterclaims, using our precedents and your past experience. That last item shouldn't be too difficult. The first assignment is more of an unknown for me. As I see it, there are two issues to pursue. First, is Jim covered by the FHAA? And second, if so, is there a link between his disability and the actions alleged? How do I find out if he's covered? You need to research the legal definition of a covered disability. He should qualify because of intellectual disability, but you need to make sure. Okay, that sounds easy. What was the second issue? You need to establish a link between the disability and the alleged activities. You'll need to get a medical release from him and contact his doctor. Doctors often don't understand the legal requirements and are often hard to reach, so you should plan on taking some time. It will require careful planned follow-up if you don't get a response from the doctor. What happens if we successfully defend against the eviction? Does the Section 8 issue go away? Yes. So this work has to come in a week from Friday by 12 noon. I want the draft bullet points by Monday at 2 p.m. so that we can have our strategy with the landlord in place before we file the eviction defense. Does that timing work for you? I have a dental appointment Monday at 1 p.m. Can we push the Monday deadline to 4 p.m.? Sure. Now about my time estimate. Does 12 to 15 hours still seem right? To be honest, I'd budget 20 hours or more for myself. Okay, let's plan on 20 hours, but please give me a recorded hours report on Monday. So I think I've covered the assignment. I'm sorry that we don't have more resources on this issue in the office. I think there may be a follow-up assignment for you to add to our knowledge bank on evictions. Now, just to make sure that I've not missed anything, would you please summarize back the key elements of the assignment? Can do. You want me to prepare answer and defense for Jim Henry's eviction case, using our precedents and excellent interview notes. I can call the client if I have to fill in the blanks. I may have to see him in person. You want a bullet points memo about a possible FHAA defense. I need to get a medical release and pay attention to getting the necessary information from his doctor. Numerous follow-up calls may be needed. You want my opinion on our chances of successfully defending the eviction action. 
I'm a little confused there. Do you want a written memo or a verbal report? I want your bottom line in a couple of written sentences. You can give me the reasoning verbally at that point. Okay, that's clear. As for deadlines, you want me to report Monday with the FHAA bullet points by 4 p.m. and a week Friday at noon with the documents. I think I also asked for counterclaims in draft. Right, you did. I'll have that for Friday, too. I'm going to enter those dates and times in my calendar, and I'm going to schedule 45 minutes at noon that Friday to review the documents with you. Does that work? Sure, but if it goes longer, you're buying lunch, right? That should motivate me to be efficient. Thanks for taking this on.